hi welcome to my channel i am terry so today i'm doing a super duper versatile hairstyle guys it's so natural looking and mind-blowing so these are the products that i used for this look i went in with this double pack afro kinky bulk natural hair it is 24 inches long and it is in a 1b color I also went in with my crochet tool of course, a white tooth comb and I'm trying out this new mega energy hair gel wax for this look. It is a number 18 strength so that should be a great hold right? I'm going in with a wild growth oil as well as a fine tooth comb for my parting. Well I won't be using a fine tooth part, I will be using that tail the rat tail part of that comb okay so i'm going ahead and i'm just parting out my sections because i want this hair style to have a leave out so that my hair can blend in well with the crochet hair so i'm going ahead and i'm parting out the front section of my hair because i want to do like a center part or a side part so i'm going ahead and i'm parting that out and then with section i will be sectioning that out of the way so now I'm proceeding to parting out the perimeter of my head so I'm just going all the way around my hair and I'm parting that out I'm not parting out a lot at the sides but towards the back and the front I am parting out a good amount not too much and not too small okay so bear that in mind I am being very intentional with the way that I'm parting my hair and also my braiding pattern which you guys will see real soon I am very being very intentional with how I do that pattern as well of course you want to section your leave out out of the way so guys this is my braiding pattern actually you can see that i have the leave outs in the front that i flat twisted and in the back it's looking so confusing right now but it's super duper simple so right where i have my leave out i ensured that i did a corner going straight across and then i braid the rest down so i'm going in with that crochet braid down i'm just showing you that tag that came in the hair in the pack and this is what the hair is looking like from the pack those sections you have two different sections they have 10 pieces of hair looking like this that i'm showing you guys and it's very 4c 4b texture looking like so we're jumping right into adding the hair in i am using my crochet tool pushing that under my con roll you know the usual grab that hair that loop and you pull the hair through i am doing a double knot on this part throughout my whole head i did not do a double knot right through it was between a single knot and a double knot right here now i was like what the heck this hair is shorter than i expected it to be because on the pack it says 24 inches i was expecting it to be down in my back but obviously by folding that hair into two it turned into half the amount of the length half the length so it's actually like 12 inches when it's folded so i continued adding it in like folding in but then i was like i really want this hair to be like a little bit longer or so on so what i did was i'm not sure if i showed you in the video though there's not any clear clip but i didn't fold it halfway i folded like quarter way through and i continued adding that into my hair so this is just a back view of me putting that crochet hair on all right also i forgot to show you guys that inside the package it does come with the general care of the synthetic hair telling you how to take care of the hair it also shows you how to do a braid pattern for crochet braids and how to attach the actual synthetic hair to your corner so i thought that was like a really great thing for them to do like inside of the pack okay so now i'm just continuing doing that crochet braid on my hair 
you guys can see it's simple so right here i'm basically taking one of that section and i took off a little piece i also divided each section into about five pieces of hair okay so once i took that out i stretched it so that i can have more of a thick uh more of a kinky look and then i proceeded to add that on my hair So right here, I am showing you guys where I had that braid going across where I had my leaf out. Like, I did this intentionally because I realized that like in the past of me doing crochet braids, I always had this gap when I corner my hair going straight back. So I thought about it and I did that section going straight across so that when i actually pull down my hair i won't have a gap it will actually camouflage and blend in well with my hair so this is what i'm looking like looking like a little baby lion and wild and you know so i'm just gonna go in with some water to attempt to soften up the synthetic hair some more and really it didn't really help with that like honestly guys this hair it acts as your natural hair when it has no moisture in it like when it's really dry and tangled this is how this hair is honestly my honest opinion so basically i'm just going through my white tooth comb out and this is what it looks like once it is combed out i needed to go in with some scissors just to shape the hair a little bit and get rid of some excess strands that were just all over the place so with this guys you need to play around with it go in don't get too scissor happy now just go in and cut what you think you need to cut and just play with the hair as much as possible So right here I'm just pulling up my leave out and it is so amazing how my hair texture actually fits so well with this hair and like it's synthetic hair and it looks super duper natural. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> now I'm just going ahead and I'm styling this hair, of course. I wanted a side part hair, so I'm going in and I am parting that towards the side, and I will be going in with my edge control. This edge control, guys. I am seeking a hedge control that won't have like that white residue but has maximum hold. So I purchased this edge control the other day. That's the mega energy edge control, right? And when I was putting it on, I was like, yeah, this is holding my hair. But after like 10 minutes, guys, like <laughs> I had to keep on reapplying it to show you guys like the other hairstyles that i will be showing you down towards the end of this video i had to keep replying it to the edges to hold my hair down like it only had me for like 10 minutes so here i'm just going in with my mousse and i'm adding that on top of the synthetic hair not adding too much to my hair because i don't want my hair to shrink up too much and again i'm going in with the scissors and i'm just taking off what i feel like there's too much 
flyaways going on there I just snip that off so different style same here so you guys saw me do my side part look at how beautiful that is like I really could rock a afro like all day every day I wish my hair could stay out like this but you guys know that natural hair you can't you can't do that like all week so with this it's a great substitute right looking all good <laughs> okay so the next style will be a updo and this is actually like a big afro high puff so i'm going in with my brush and i'm just smoothing my hair up into the direction that i want it to go i'm going in with the eco styler gel towards the back and i'm using that to smooth my hair up look at the back guys like you can't tell that i have in crochet braids so now i'm just going in with my hair tie and i'm be tying my hair up I'm just positioning the hair where I want it and now I'm just going back in with some gel towards the front and also with that edge that hair wax that I showed you before use that on my edges of course to smooth it over and I use my brush to smooth the rest of my hair in I'm just gonna move that hair tie just a little so that I can brush my hair in And then I'll just go ahead and tie that up. Again, you want to fluff your hair and play with it as much as possible so that I can have the shape that you guys want it. Okay, and this is what it's looking like. <laughs> come through high puff like, this is the biggest high puff i've ever had and guys with this hairstyle there's little to no tension that's a close-up look at how it blends well with my hair like because i left the side the side out and everything it just looks super duper natural okay so for our next style i'm doing a simple middle part i'm just going ahead and i'm just parting that down and then as you can see with this middle part because i did that kind of going across my leave out like there is a camouflage there and it blends well and there is no gap going on right there okay <laughs> feeling myself much <laughs> and the final style this is like a half up half down do so i'll have like a little bun in the front look at that guys it's tangled like I, seriously it acts as if it is real natural hair like <laughs> get over yourself anyway so i use my hair tie my scrunchie to section out the front of my hair and i will be putting that into like a little bun right there but first i'm just going to like fluff it out and go in with my brush to fluff that out some more i could have left it like this guys but to me it was like too like it was blended in too much so i just did a bun in the front as you can see i'm going back in with a hair wax again So I'm going in with a brush and I'm just fluffing the back out and I'm just combing the front so that it can have some volume and then I'll just proceed to doing that little bun. I take a hairpin and I just hold that into place. And look at that. Wow. Look at how cute it is. Like... That's just a little close-up right there and then, uh, you know. Woo, nobody can tell me this is not my hair. Like, and person's asking like, is that your real hair? <laughs> you know, I was like, yes. 
which one was your favorite if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> Say really one nigga.